Honorable Speaker, I rise to agree with the Committee on Budget and Appropriations. Honorable Speaker, it's important that as we make decisions, we are aware that uh, someone once told us that all choices, all choices, Honorable Speaker, have consequences. If, Honorable Speaker, we were to agree with the Senate this afternoon, what the Chair of the Budget and Appropriations Committee and his committee are telling us is that in budget making, when you give something, something else must give in. Honorable Speaker, you know the problem we have had with many of our governors with the road <coughs> maintenance, road fuel levy for road maintenance. Honorable Speaker, you know the spirited effort they have been asking for 10 billion shillings out of the funds that you are receiving in your constituencies for road maintenance, then the Budget Committee, if we are to agree with the Senate amendments, the Budget Committee will have nothing else to give other than to give in. And you sacrifice your Kera roads uh, maintenance funds to your governors, assuming that they are going to build the same roads that you build. Two Honorable Speaker, the Chair of the Budget and Operations Committee has spoken to the issue of NGCDF. Honorable Speaker, you know the challenges we've had with the NGCDF and the opportunities and at the time that we have celebrated 20 years of the existence of NGCDF, Kenyans across the country can tell you this is the only tangible money they feel on the ground in terms of projects and even in terms of the money that we are giving to students for Basa Honorable Speaker, yes. including the money for our women reps. The great ladies that we have as women reps across our 47 counties, Honorable Speaker, are doing a far much more commendable job than many governors, Honorable Speaker. The GAF money, you can see what GAF money is doing in every county in this country, Honorable Speaker. Our women leaders, Honorable Speaker, that is why at the risk of uh, stepping on our ma my male Honorable colleagues. Honorable members, Honorable members. Proposed. Women members, it's totally out of order to shout in the house. You know how you can do what you're doing, but no shout. Honorable, Honorable Speaker, I was saying, at the risk of being lynched by many male governors and prospective governors, I have proposed that if I had the ability to alter part of our constitution, I would propose that our women leaders even have the governor position as an affirmative action seat because they are good in managing funds, Honorable Speaker. And I don't say this, Honorable Speaker, because I'm a father to girls. I have seen, as I grew up, my own mother taking care of the pennies, knowing that when you take care of the pennies, the pounds will take care of themselves. And I believe many women leaders in this country have that belief that if you take care of the small money they have, these women leaders under GAF have very little, I think about uh, seven or eight million shillings per county, but you can see the effect of that money on the ground. How then do we allow those amendments that are coming to take away money from GAF to give it to governors? It will be injustice not to the women leaders, but to the people of Kenya who are depending on their mothers and their sisters in GAF to take care of them in terms of bursaries and social protection funds, Honorable Speaker. And Honorable Speaker, I don't need to re-emphasize that we never see the value of money that is going to counties across the country, without exception, Honorable Speaker. I know there are some counties like uh, Homa Bay where we can see good work being done. I know there are counties like Nakuru where we can see good work being done. And there are counties that are messy, Honorable Speaker. There are counties where the Auditor General is telling you, my county in Kiambu, close to a billion shillings on roads has gone to waste. Close to another 100 million shillings that was being given as fertilizer and uh, chicks, Honorable Speaker, has been stolen, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, I don't just say this to uh, support women governors, but I can say without any fear of contradiction, our women leaders are doing a great job as governors, and I would urge Kenyans to continue supporting our women leaders. These are great, uh, great leaders, Honorable Speaker. 
you honor, honorable majority leader, are you done? Okay. Honorable Junette. Mr. Speaker, Madam Speaker, I stand to support the amendments of the Senate, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, let's be honest. 